Hi, my name's Andy and today I want to share with you uh, this little radio. It's a Lisson Skyscraper 3, that's L-I-S-S-E-N. Uh, first manufactured somewhere around 1933 and uh, at that time you could buy the radio for 89 shillings and sixpence including valves, the advert at the time very generously says and it was a radio for uh, the man of the house to construct himself uh, there's no solder joints it's uh, got little uh, um, screw terminals uh, that uh, you, you do up uh, by hand so I guess you could probably put the whole thing together without any tools uh, but this would have been uh, state of the art this, this would have been uh, I guess like your iPod or your Blackberry of today if you had one of these uh, it would have been quite something I believe that it was sold uh, either just as a chassis or you could buy it with a case uh, a wooden case so a man could buy the chassis and the components and, and build a little case um, to, to suit uh, whatever size requirements uh, he had uh, so I'll, I'll give you some uh, close-ups and uh, talk you through some of the components uh, the radio is called a uh, skyscraper 3 because of the three valves um, and say so the I think the interesting thing about this is the fact that uh, Marconi was only 59 when this radio was first produced so a little bit of history there So uh, there's a set of leads and uh, plugs here, so uh, then they'll be to go to the battery and uh, some speed terminals here. So all of the electrical connections are via these little uh, nuts with uh, knurled uh, edges um, so all through uh, this switch very basic two switches like that um, capacitors let's say there are three capacitors I'll just turn the equipment around It's uh, a little bit worse to wear, um, so obviously that's broken off that uh, uh, valve cap connection there. So a nice little project, uh, restoration project for somebody, four pin valves. Uh, again the valve holders all with the um, knurled nuts uh, for the connections. And uh, here it says uh, uh, each coil inductance is matched to 1% Lisson dual range shielded coil British made and if we just slip the, the can off so inside we've got the coil again with these uh, little finger nuts it all looks to be in uh, quite reasonable condition and I think it's uh, it's pretty well complete um, there are one or two spare holes in the chassis but it doesn't look as though there's been anything uh, in them you know the uh, there's no sort of witness where something a component has been bolted down so there were probably some variations uh, in the chassis, I don't, I don't know. That's that's supposition. Uh, 
I say I don't have a circuit diagram but uh, if I do get one I'll, uh, I'll put it on as part two to this video for uh, anyone that's interested. Okay I'll flip the chassis over and I'll let you see the other side. Okay so uh, having turned the chassis over uh, this is uh, what's on the underside so um, uh, wound components there and um, terminal strip there for plug-in connections uh, resistor and capacitors and uh, I'll just uh, back away a bit oh, I think this is uh, um, probably in my own light a bit there uh, Mansbridge type listen condenser none of the other components are uh, are marked other than a it's embossed in the um, body of these capacitors the word listen so that just helps you to see uh, having just flipped the uh, chassis back over again uh, this is something I haven't seen before on a, a valve, a, uh, a, a screw connection uh, on the side of the valve. Again, four pin uh, base, um, but uh, that, that I'm not familiar with. Um, anode caps, yes, but uh, not that. And of course this, uh, this other valve. So that's a wire that's uh, come off there. Uh, this valve is a lovely construction. Don't think I can catch it in there, but uh, proper. Um, <laughs> uh, you can see the uh, the grid uh, in there so so clearly, or at least I can. Maybe I'm not doing a good job with the camera. Okay, well that's the uh, uh, the listen three, and um, let's say if I get a circuit diagram for it, then I will uh, do um, uh, a part two to this video. Um, again, hopefully it's something that you don't get to see every day, which is what I try and bring you in these videos. And uh, thanks for watching.